Hi people, this is Truth Vessel JB and I present our testimony where you bring your testimony through the visual arts. Today's session will be provided through the verse Proverbs 3 verses 3 to 5 and it can be paraphrased like this. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and not lean on your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all your ways and he shall direct your path. I have today, I want to focus on a young woman who is a believer who went to a conference that a pastor held, a friend led to her that her friend's pastor held, and resulted in a supernatural experience. But right now, I'm just gonna have the Holy Spirit lead me as always, so I'm gonna pray. Father God in heaven, Thank you, Lord, so much for everything that I ask you to bless this canvas, that this canvas is blessed in Jesus' name, and that those who see the end result, including the progress of this canvas, will be transformed. Thank you, Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. So, of course, I'm going to do my under, underpainting first, and the underpainting has to be done in order, you know, a straight white canvas. So I want to add some yellows, you know, to it. Add a yellows, yes, yellows to it. Okay. So I did the basics. I underpainted it. And right now I'm going to just use some tissue to dry off the excess paint. All right, now I'm going to make some outlines and the outlines will be blue. So I'm going to start with that. This young one went to a conference with her friend and um, she had a wonderful session, great conference. After the conference was done, she, the pastor told everyone to stand up. She asked the Lord, show me. And at that point, nothing happened. However, she fell after the conference ended and pretty much people were exiting out. She fell and she couldn't get up. And she fell, she couldn't get up. She tried to move her body. All her limbs were frozen. So obviously the Lord got her attention and the Lord was telling her basically, you know, so she showed her this vision of her as a child and playing in the playground, you know, the trust game when you fall backwards and you trust the person behind you to catch you, she, you know, sometimes, especially with anybody, when you're not, you don't feel comfortable about something or you're not very um, sure about something, you put your hand behind you so that if the person decides to dip you and leave you behind, you brace yourself for the fall. So as a kid, she braced herself for the fall, putting her hand there you know, to brace yourself for the fall. Just in case this person doesn't know how to hold me, how to catch me, I could brace myself for the fall. So she did that, you know, and as a result, you know, the trust wasn't there because she braced herself for the fall as a little girl. And basically, in that vision she received from the Lord, this is what she, this is what she said that God told her, this is what you do to me. Trusting me with all your heart and understanding, you're bracing yourself for the fall. This is what you do to me. So overall, you know, she definitely got some, it was an eye opening for her and a transformation. So I could see at this point, she's learning how to trust the Lord more. She's learning to believe that God is not man. Even though she's a believer, we have our doubts. We're growing and everything like that. But we have our doubts and we got to trust God because he's, we're always thinking, you know, God looks at the heart, not the appearance as men do. 
So we have to realize that. And he's not a man he should lie. So right now I'm painting her as a little girl in the vision. And she's bracing for the fall. She's bracing for the fall. So here she is falling, but bracing for the fall. Okay. Well, after that vision she received, she was able to get up and walk about her business, but she never forgot that day. God will never leave us nor forsake us. He is not a little bully that comes in the playground and we there they tell us to trust them, but they don't they don't do their part. And as a result, we fall hard. God is not like that. He's not a man. You know, instead of her holding out her hand, he shall have let him just be comfortable and know that, you know, everything's going to be all right for you. Never leave us nor forsake us. So we got to trust in the Lord. You know, the Lord, we are very single minded because, you know, his ways are, his thoughts are higher than our thoughts and his ways are higher than our ways. As I say in Isaiah 55, 11. So right now I'm going to paint this girl in a green ish color, right? And this will represent our thinking. We think in a linear sense and a linear sense meaning that it's one way. There's no other way but our way. While God thinks in multidimensional ways and because his ways are multidimensional, he knows more than us. He made us. He's the creator. For he has made man in his image, in their image. So yes, this little girl is being going to be painted, representing her univision, herself, her thoughts, her imaginations, her desires, her will. This represents her. So I just paint her lovely. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this vision. Thank you. The multilinear knowledge of God, the love of God, the multilinear love of God, the multilinear grace of God, the multilinear just awesomeness, love, grace, mercy of God. We do this to ourselves all the time. Just like the young woman here. We put God like, nah, I got this. Nah, I could do this. Yeah, sometimes you could do it, but you end up falling on your face like this girl did. You can't do everything by yourself. We can't see everything in front of us. That's why we trust with the moral heart and not with understanding. Acknowledge him in all your ways and he shall direct your path. Acknowledge him in your heart's desires. You know, trust him with all your heart. He made your heart. He made it beat. Why can't you trust him with it? And I mean heart spiritually speaking. Your heart contains your, you know, your spirit man. And in your heart as well, your emotions, your mind. Give that to him. Thank you, God. Okay, so we have a multicolored hand. That represents the Lord and his infinite ways. There's so many different colors, different colors representing different um, linear ways of his grace, his love, his knowledge, his wisdom. Everything represents that. That hand represents that it's an open hand, it's not a fist. He's not going to fight you. 
It's an open hand. An open hand. Open to you. Just let him in. Well, she sort of let him in, but she still was bracing for the fall. You gotta let him in and, you know, have him wait, rule. Have him know that you love him. And you only do that if you trust him more. Okay. She's playing outside. She's outside in the playground. He has to show his light. And we only do that when we trust him. The light of God. Okay, light is good. Look at that light. Trust God and he'll lead us. We'll see things better. See, our understanding is <coughs> limited. So that's why it's all bunched up. Like clouds. Clouds disappear. God never doesn't. Okay, so hands are made pretty much. And I do the head. Okay. Oh, braces herself for the fall. And you know, she, he got her. God gotcha. Okay, so we're almost done, people. I just want to add some details to this. So she has a light here, light here, light here. That's so light. at the end of this video, there's going to be a scripture, Romans 10, 9, 10. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy this. Let me sign this up real quick. A little dabby here, dabby dabby. Let's sign, sign it. Okay, oh, Debbie, Debbie here. All right. Okay, people, thank you again for participating. Thank you for watching. I hope you have been blessed, and I'll see you next time. Our testimony. To God be the glory. I know it's backwards when I record it, but to God be the glory. One, 17, 16. All right, amen. Thank you. All right. Thank you people, have a wonderful night. Love you. Good night.